Tonight, the Queen's body is back at Buckingham Palace. Her family now has some private time to mourn before the public gets their chance to pay their final respects. You can see uh, that's uh, the Queen, the coffin there as it makes its way back to the palace from Scotland. NBC's Jay Gray has the details from London. Flowers, flags, memorials, notes and mementos fill many of the once open spaces across central London. A memorial trail of sorts leading Queen Elizabeth back to Buckingham Palace for the last time. Tonight, her coffin lies in rest there. Tomorrow, it will move to Westminster Hall in an elaborate procession that will include King Charles and other members of the royal family. Rehearsed under the cloak of darkness by British soldiers who will take part in the historic journey. It is our opportunity, our last opportunity, to do a duty for the Queen. It's our first opportunity to do a duty for the King. The City of London has been meticulously planning for this period of mourning for more than a decade, but there's no way to fully prepare for what they expect to see here. Millions coming into the city to pay their respects add to that mix dignitaries from around the world for Monday's state funeral. Security already on high alert, led by the new commander of the Metropolitan Police on the job for just weeks. We will have a safe event, but we're going to be putting thousands of officers into this um, because of the level of security required and the millions of people who want to pay their respects. Many pushed by their affection for the Queen Mother. I just wanted to come here and pay my respects myself in my own way, lay some flowers, have a few moments for myself. Unwilling to wait for any formal ceremony for viewing. Jay Gray, NBC News, London.